want to be a grandmother again. Whoa, oh, oh. How you know she's pregnant? I've been gaining so much weight since we've just been stuck in the house all day. I just feel a little nauseous too. I think something's going on. She's got all the symptoms. <laughs> My daughter is pregnant too. Can you believe <gasps> it? We're going to be twin grandma. We're going to have another baby. If mommy has another baby, then I won't be the baby anymore. Your wife is pregnant. What? But how do you know for sure? We're going to have to figure out a way to, you know, to find out. We can test her with some old wives' tales. Sweet mama, why don't we just ask her? Can a doctor just tell her she's pregnant? No! We don't need no doctor to tell us, you know, <laughs> if she's pregnant or not. I can always tell you. You know, a mother knows these things. We need to try an old wives' tale. And I have the perfect one since she's taking a nap and everything. You got whipped cream, baby. Whipped cream? Boy, why are you always questioning me? Yes, whipped cream. Now. Go get that whipped cream, and we gotta uh, take it to the bedroom. Whipped cream in the bedroom? What you know about that, sweet mama? <laughs> they don't call me sweet for nothing. <laughs> it's, it's for regal about that. But, boy, get your mind out the gutter. We're here for the Lord's work. We're going to see if there's a blessed child amongst us. Come on, go get it. Let's go. Now, there she is, boy. You go ahead and put that whipped cream in her hand. I don't know. This seems kind of kooky. Boy, how many times is you going to question your elders? They do what I say. We got to find out. And this is the true way to do it. Not all that science junk with them tests and stuff. <laughs> the doctors know better than your sweet mama. <laughs> no? All right. Okay, I guess. I gotta go change my shirt. I got whipped cream all over it. Well, she is taking care of herself. She's in there about to take a hot bath. <gasps> a hot bath? She can't take no hot bath. Well, why not? That's not good for the baby. Pregnant women can't take no hot bath, boy. Don't you know that? It can hurt the baby? Well, how am I supposed to stop her? Oh, 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 you got some ice? Ice? You are going to have to go get that ice and put it in her bath. But she's going to be mad if I do that. You worried about her being mad? Or you worried about that baby being okay? Uh, you gotta make a choice. Uh, uh. I can't believe you got me to do that, woman. I gotta go take out the trash. Hmm. When it comes to my grandbabies, I don't play and I don't apologize. I go see what she doing in that kitchen. Uh. Baby? Oh, Naya, has anyone told you that you eat toast like an angel? 
Tommy, has anyone ever told you to get out of my house? It's okay, my sweet. Oh, I know you're in love with me. I won't tell anyone. Baby, uh, what you over here doing? I'm just making a snack, sweet mama. Now listen, I got something to tell you. It's very big news. I know, mommy's pregnant. Oh, <laughs> everybody can tell that she is. Except for the husband. <laughs> now, now listen, okay. We is going to have to take care of your mama and make sure she takes care of herself. We can't let her, you know, be doing normal things. Now, you understand? Yeah, I think I know. Like, we can't let her ride a hearse. I heard that was really bad for pregnant women. Ride a horse? Well, yeah, I guess it's riding a horse. It's like, yeah, but she don't ride no horses. What I mean is we got to take care of her. We got to make sure she's eating the right foods and that she's, you know, getting plenty of rest. Uh oh, and don't you ever let her take a hot bath. <laughs> Ooh, that is dangerous. Yeah, we don't want her to do anything to harm the baby. See, she, she hasn't told us she is pregnant yet. She may not even know. But, you know, your sweet mama, she has instincts i've always had instincts like this you know people always tell me you know i am one of the smartest women of life oh that makes total sense but if she didn't tell you how do you know you questioning me oh yeah you must get it from your father's side of the family <laughs> but yeah, listen a grandmother knows these types of things i just know it deep down in my heart oh and, and, and did I ever tell you about the time I did a stint as a midwife? You know what a midwife is, baby? No, what's a midwife? A midwife? Is that the wife between your first and second wife? My mom's been that a few times. Before there was doctors and all this fancy science type stuff, <laughs> you know, in the hospital, <laughs> Women used to give birth uh, anywhere, you know. In fact, I gave birth uh, in a barn once. Ooh, oh, that's a, that's a story for another time. Them horses, Jesus. Ooh. But um, it, it, so a midwife is a woman that helps other women deliver their baby. So I, I was a midwife in training. And oh boy, you know, uh, the midwife that we had in our little town, we lived in a very small town. It was like, ooh. Yeah. You just you walk in, you walked out. It was that fast. It was just a very small place. She was over there at Bertha Buckin's house. Bertha Buckin! And cause ah. Bertha was delivering like her sixth baby that year. And um so she was busy with that and you know, all of a sudden somebody come running around the house calling about We need a midwife, we need a midwife, we need a midwife. I was the only one there. And Bertha told me I was going to have to do it. But I've never delivered a baby before. But so I said, you know what? Lord Jesus, just help me so I don't, you know, hurt nobody. Help me get this baby out. So I grabbed me a bucket of pig fat. And I uh, and I was going to get some boiling water. You know, we used pig fat back then because we didn't have no oils in I like stuff. to lick the hot pig <laughs> fat when my mom makes bacon. Ugh. My tongue's a little numb from that. So anyway, so I go over there. And I'm about to help this woman. And I see her on the back of the wagon. So they didn't have a car. They was real poor. You know, folks was real poor. And so she was on the back of the wagon with all this hay and stuff. And her husband out there telling her to, you know, hold on. Don't push her. Don't do nothing. I, I was like, oh, no, Jesus. Then all of a sudden, it was like a flash of the eye. It was like, whoo. All of a sudden, that woman started pushing. And the next thing I knew, that baby was flying. Ball, you know, growing there and they were talking about go long and the, the Hail Mary pass. No, yeah, this was a real Hail Mary pass. <laughs> that baby came popping on out of her and it was flying. They thought the baby was going to land down on the Mars or something. Everybody was screaming. But you know what your grandmama did? Your grandmama's instincts took over. And I said, No, sir, I ain't losing no baby on my watch. Not today, Satan. I was, I was slapping Satan back, and I was just like, okay, slap it ever. Okay, get this baby out. I told you, don't you ever come back around here no more, or I'm going to slap the teeth out your mouth, you old devil. So what I did, 
I, I went, I went, I went, and I caught that baby right in my arms. So you caught the baby? I caught that baby, but, uh, but it, it slipped through my arms because I had all that pig fat on my, my hands and it, it fell in the bucket of pig fat. Oh, Lord! Ah! But that baby was okay and your sweet mama took care of it. <laughs> so, so when you ask me how I know she's pregnant, your sweet mama has been blessed with instincts, okay, from above. That is divine. I know what I'm talking about. Wow, that's a crazy story, Grandma, but that makes sense. Oh, 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 oh. here she come. Okay, act normal. Don't say nothing to her, okay? Be quiet. <laughs> uh, hi, baby. How are you feeling? I'm still a little tired, but I'm just... The weirdest things are happening to me. Like, I woke up, there was whipped cream on my face, and then I went to take a bath, and someone threw ice all in it. I think it's Ellie. She's been watching the Troom Troom and all these little hacks and things that are on uh, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> you know these kids today. They love all them little tricks and things they see on the TV screen. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, we got to have a talk with that Ellie. It must be her or something. Well, I'm going to have to have a talk with her because she's got to stop all this. Oh, I'm gonna eat something. Nigga, what you doing with those? What do you mean, what am I doing with these? I'm about to eat them. You can eat them hot dogs? Why can't I have hot dogs? Uh, what didn't you say you're trying to lose that stomach? Them hot dogs is full of fat. I'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm just starving. I need to eat. I don't care. Oh, oh. Let me go find some buns. Oh, Nala, you got to stop her. She can eat them hot dogs. Oh, why not, sweet mama? Because pregnant women cannot have hot dogs. It, it's got bacteria or something that can hurt the baby. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, oh, <clears throat> throw them on the floor. Huh? Throw them on the floor. Throw them on the floor? Yes, right now. It's a good thing you didn't get it. I didn't know you had that. This is... Ugh. What am I going to eat now? I don't have any more hot dogs. Is anybody going to eat those? I'll take them. Oh, you know, baby, I, I, I saw there was some ice cream in the refrigerator. You want to get yourself some ice cream? Are you in the mood for it? Ooh, something salty. Let me go get it. Ooh. I'm going to just eat this straight up out of here. It's not that much left. I think I had some chopped walnuts. Put that in there. Nah. Grab that relish your mama head and, and, and put some in it. Why would I put relish in there? Because, girl, don't you know that the relish is made from pickles? And pregnant women love ice cream and pickles. Just put it in there. Mix it all up. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now, hear me up and do it. It'll make your mama feel better. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Poor 
I somebody ate all the walnuts. Oh, I just can't get a break in this house. Oh. You know, I was thinking today that we really, really need to just like clean the house. I mean, I just feel like it's just a mess. And I don't know. Oh, everything just needs to change. And we need to clean up that spare bedroom fast. Hmm. Hmm. played on me today. I had whipped cream on my face and someone put ice in my bath. Seriously? Oh, don't give me that. Seriously? Ellie, I told you no more pranks and things. We had the discussion a while ago. So you know what? No more Troom Troom and no more YouTube for quite some time because I, I can't deal with this. Look, things are changing around here. You're going to have to grow up. You're not a baby anymore. It's true. She said I'm not her baby anymore. If I'm not a baby anymore, the new baby's gonna take my place. I don't wanna be a part of this family anymore. I'll run away with Mr. Squeakers and Molly so we can start a new family together. I know, Gertie. It's gonna be so much fun, us being twin grandmas. Can you believe it, girl? <laughs> I know. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, um, you know, I gotta start planning a shower and everything. Oh, yeah, girl. I've already got everything planned for my daughter. Mm-hmm. I got it all. Oh, you do? Oh, oh. I'm kind of behind. Oh, I, I got to catch up with you. Oh, 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 oh. Granny, let me go. He, he, I, my daughter's coming in. I, you know, I'm going to keep it quiet. <laughs> I, I'll call you later, girl. <laughs> girl, what are you doing up there? Mama, well, I got to finish these projects. I've been trying to put these tiles up for like weeks, months, really. Ugh. You can't be up on no ladder in your condition. In my condition? What condition? Ugh. Mama, you are losing it. Oh, this girl is shot in the head. Oh, get down from there and oh, oh. Come, come put this Ben Gay on my feet. My arthritis is acting up. Rub Ben Gay on your feet? What? I am not doing that. And since when do you have arthritis in your feet? Mama, please. Now, now you get down there right now. Listen to your mama. You must think that I'm still uh, 10 years old. Oh. oh, I think I might have to get, the, get a taller ladder for this. Mm. I gotta stop this girl. Oh. Throw myself down. Oh, I gotta stop her. Oh, let's hope this, this hip don't give out too much. Here I go. Oh, oh. Mama! Oh my God. Oh. Mama! Mama! Are you okay? Oh, oh baby. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't done it now. I didn't really hurt myself. Well, Mama, why in the world? You, what were you doing on the steps? You were just on the couch. No, oh baby, I I was trying to, you know, I was trying to help you clean the steps and everything, and then I need to hurt myself. Oh. Mama, come on, let me help you up. Oh. Mama, what is going on with you these days? You are acting so crazy. And what are you doing? We got a baby shower to plan. A baby shower? 
Gertie is already having her this weekend on Saturday. And if you think I'm going to let her outdo me and mine, I don't think so. We are going to have a baby shower on Friday. A surprise baby shower. See, Squeakles, now we're planning a party. We have to get out of here before the baby comes. What kind of message is for a baby shower? I'm going to be the laughing stock of the town. Party looking like this. Hello? Woo, woo, woo! 